We're Evan and Melanie, and this week is one we have been looking forward to since the day we dreamed up living in a van. We are headed to Alaska. But because Canada's borders are still closed, we won't be driving there. Instead, we're hopping on the infamous Alaska Marine Highway and cruising north on a ferry with our van and Penelope, of course. We're out here in Bellingham trying to get a last little ride in before the ferry departs tomorrow for Alaska. And it's not just any regular boat ride. This ferry will be taking us through some of the most scenic passages from Bellingham, Washington to Ketchikan, Alaska. And we'll be seeing it all from our cozy tent that we pitched on the back of the boat. Okay, we're finally doing what we planned to do two years ago, which is what, Melanie? We are going to Alaska, finally. So. Not the original plan. We were originally planning to drive up through Canada, but we're going on a ferry, which is going to be even cooler. We've heard nothing but good things. Yeah, so our original plan was to ferry straight to Anchorage, but that was fully booked up by the time we got around to booking ours it booked up like six months in advance so we actually luckily found a roundabout way to get to anchorage we are going to catch a can we're going to be there for about two weeks and then we're going to go to juno be there for a little while and then we head up to anchorage each time traveling to each port by ferry which after some thought, is actually gonna be perfect because Penelope is with us, obviously, and she can't get off on the ferry. She has to remain in the vehicle. We did not know this when we booked it. We <laughs> also cannot remain in the vehicle, only the dog. So, the Alaska Ferry, AKA the Alaska Marine Highway, AKA the poor man's cruise, is, um, more of a cruise ship kind of thing, but with a twist. And uh, you'll see, you'll see some, as you're having more teeth. Ferry are um, to book in advance. <laughs> you need to know your vehicle length and all that jazz. If you're traveling with a pet, you need to get a uh, health certificate for them, which is basically you just take it to the vet and ask them for the health certificate and they know what that is. And what they do is basically a wellness check for the dog. Um, and then they sign a little paper and the doctor signs it. And they do ask you for that when you check in. All right, so hopefully all goes smooth when we board the ship and we'll show you around our new crib for the next 40 hours straight. Okay, well, boarding process, we <laughs> check-in was at three, we got here at two, and it is now 4.30 and they've loaded a few cars, mostly like big RVs and boats, but I think it's all based on destination because this boat, this ship ultimately goes to Anchorage, but we get off and catch a can and others get off at other ports in between. So the waiting continues. Like you like me too. We can't take it 
slow, make sure we do this right. Canceled all my plans to be with you tonight, tonight. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building camp. Mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go. Come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me. For me, it seems like you're dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. Dropping everything 'cause you're stuck on my mind, my mind. So just sit with me. Talking to the night until the morning, building camp mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go. Come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. It's 9:20 Alaska time. Even though we're passing through Canada right now, we just got to go down to the car deck and let Penelope out. And it was a bit of a uh, stressful series of events. <laughs> um, a lot of people on the ship have dogs and there is no specific area for them to go potty. Um, so, no, he hasn't potty. <laughs> um, what, am I, what am I saying? So, yeah, we went down to the car deck. It wasn't, it wasn't very fun. We're feeling a little stressed out about it, but we just had dinner and the sunset was incredible. So we're gonna end the evening, go back to our tent. And actually our tent neighbor said that the Aurora lights might be out tonight. On the Matanuska, there is a solarium on the back of the ship followed by an open air deck where anyone can pitch their tent to the ground using duct tape. Ideally, you place your tent as close and centered to the solarium as possible for maximum wind protection. But of course, it's on a first come basis. Um, we're in our tent. It's 10-ish o'clock, maybe 11. I've lost count. Um, we were one of the last people to board, even though we were one of the first people to arrive. <laughs> Funny how that works. Um, so our tent ended up being our dog walk. They don't really have any grass or anything out here, so. <laughs> don't really. Uh, well, they have none. They have none, yes. So, Nelly, Nelly didn't pee last time, so we're gonna try oh, to get her to pee. All right. All right. Good luck, Melanie. Hey. Come on, Nelly. She wants food. Okay. Or oh, they one lap and we'll come back. I know. Pissing the <laughs> night away. I know you're 
were sitting on the edge of your seat waiting to know if Penelope peed. She did all of her duties and got a round of applause from other nearby dog owners who were also begging their dogs to pee on concrete. We just walked around the boat looking for a quiet area to talk. And we didn't um, find one. We've been looking at the map and it's crazy because the ferry doesn't take you out into like open waters. It just like channels its way through all these islands. Right now, look at how close we are to the shore and we're about to head into an area that's even tighter than that. This is pretty cool. Uh, yesterday was a warm, sunny, clear sky day. <laughs> Today it's drizzling, but it's still really nice. You having some slop? I thought I saw a whale tail, <laughs> but it stayed, it's still above water, so I don't think it's a whale tail. It's a log, huh? No, but it's like up like this. <laughs> oh, it is a log. catch a can and um, we're all a little tired from travel even though we slept great <laughs> what are you doing oh, we slept great in our tent and Penelope slept but I'm sure she was worried for us the whole time so we're all gonna get in some quality time together it's also 7 a.m. <laughs> 
before we head out and do something today. Sayonara. Next week is when the real Alaska fun begins. Ketchikan is a pretty small island and we are exploring every last bit of it that we can, from hiking to wildlife and more.